In this lesson, we're going to talk about iAFIS, which is the Integrated Automated Fingerprint Identification System. The FBI is um, who runs iAFIS. iAFIS is the database that holds all fingerprints um, across the United States and all of the smaller um, uh, police stations have access to iAFIS. So like the Phoenix Crime Lab has access to iAFIS, uh, the Mesa Crime Lab, so on and so forth. But the FBI is who actually runs and kind of um, takes care of iAFIS. So the Integrated Automated Fingerprint Identification System includes fingerprints. And the reason why it's called integrated is because it also includes other things like criminal histories, mug shots, scars and tattoo photos, physical characteristics like height, weight, hair color, eye color, and aliases. All that stuff goes into a person's file in iAFIS. Um, and then investigators are able to look up any of that information as they're searching. So say that a, you know, unique scar was found in a photograph of a criminal, they can run it through iAFIS and see if there's any matches, so on and so forth. Um, there's about 70 million subjects in the criminal master file, and there's about 30 million civil prints in iAFIS. Um, the civil prints would be anybody who's a government worker, teachers, police officers, anybody like that. And then the 70 million subjects in the criminal file means that you have um, been fingerprinted at some point for some type of criminal activity. Uh, there's 73,000 known and suspected terrorists processed by the U.S. or international terrorist law enforcement agencies, and those are also included in IAFIS database. Um, it takes about 27 minutes to process a print. So say at the Phoenix Crime Lab, if they find a fingerprint at a crime scene and they run it through um, IAFIS, it takes about 27 minutes usually, approximately, for them to run it through the criminal processing system and see if they can find matches. Um, for the civil processing, it takes about an hour and 12 minutes, and that's mainly just because usually that's not um, as high on the agenda, and so they don't put quite as much manpower in the civil processing. In 2010, and keep in mind that was about eight or nine years ago, there were 61 million print submissions were processed at that time. So 61 million times people put prints into IAFIS to attempt to find matches. Um, IAFIS started in 1999, and before that, all prints, fingerprints, were manually um, found. In, so they had hundreds of files, and they were all in the files, and they had to process through using Henry's classification system. So this definitely sped up the process and significantly helped um, the use of fingerprints in solving crimes. So here's how it works. IAFIS uses an algorithm to find the top five to 10 closest matches to the unknown. So there's an algorithm. So you put your fingerprint, like you scan it in, you put the print that's unknown um, into the database and it goes through and uses an algorithm to find the top five to 10 closest matches to the unknown print. Um, and then a fingerprint expert takes those five to 10 closest matches and makes a final determination. So like on the CSI shows or things like that where they have like it pop up with a match to a specific person right away. That's not actually how the process works. IAFIS gives the top five to 10 closest matches and then a fingerprint expert actually takes those five to 10 and then makes the final determination. So the court will not accept an IAFIS match, it will only accept a fingerprint expert's match.